Hi, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop. Today I'm making a live edge river table. I first saw one of these live edge river tables about three years ago in 2015, and a lot of people have made them since then. So I guess I'm kind of late to the game since it's April 1st, 2018, but I'm gonna try something a little different. So let's get started. I'm going to use these two pieces of red cedar that still have the live edge on one side. And it's going to be a small table. By the time I'm done, it'll probably measure about 13 inches by 13. And I really like the color variations in this wood. I'm going to try to retain some of this bark. So the first thing I'm going to do is just square up the other three edges on the table saw. All right, I've got the board squared up with my square and I'm using this plastic and duct tape to prevent the liquid from spilling out. Now it's time for the fun part. Most people use some sort of epoxy or resin for their tables, but those are known to cause cancer in California. Even though I'm all the way across the country in Georgia, I'm not gonna take any chances. So I'm going to use this mixture of two parts hydrogen to one part oxygen for my table. I think it'll be a lot safer. By the way, real men use pink pictures. All right, let's do this. I want to fill it just up to the top without going over the edge. That looks good right there. This is so cool. You can actually see a little bit of the liquid rising just above the edge. It's gonna take a few minutes for this to dry. So while we're waiting, I'm going to work on the table legs. <sighs> all right, I've got all the pieces cut for the table legs. So let's go check on the tabletop and see how it's drying. It's still a little tacky, so I'm going to assemble the table legs and then we'll come back and check it in a few minutes. All right, when I came back over to check on it, it was completely dry, so I took off the tape and the plastic and wow, I can't believe how clear this looks. Let's assemble it and finish up this project. Okay, here is my completed live edge river table. And that river effect looks really cool. I can't believe how clear that hydrogen and oxygen mixture looks. I think the key to this project is just being really patient and allowing it at least a few more minutes to completely dry. If you like this project, give this video a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Either way, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of it. At the end of this video, I'm gonna throw up a link to another table I made a couple of years ago that you might like as well. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.